Well, hello, my friends. Uh, in this video, my wife and I are going to be applying plaster cloth to our in-scale model railroad that I'm calling uh, Canyon Flats. So uh, let's go into my living room and I need to put on a work shirt to start with. So let's go get uh, started on uh, applying plaster cloth to our model train layout. Well, my friends, uh, as you can tell, I'm starting to work on applying the plaster cloth. I got this uh, plaster cloth from um, Hobby Lobby. And as you can tell, there's the little uh, plaster cloth thing I got. It does come with a variety of directions. It basically says uh, cut three or four inch strips and then uh, lay them down in the water and then uh, lay them out. I also noticed that this uh, plaster cloth uh, is actually uh, um, got little section pieces in it. So when I pulled that first piece out, I uh, had probably, I don't know, a three foot piece. So let's we'll see what's going on. So basically, uh, I also have a towel here and uh, it's going to be messy. So I'm going to wipe my hands. Um, I did take the uh, back uh, drop plywood off that I did as you can tell and I'm sorry I'm cutting the top of my head off but my focus is to allow you to see what I'm working on here. I'm actually starting to plaster uh, the river and hopefully my wife can come and help me because this is almost a two-person job but I'll uh, get started and she can come and uh, join me and so basically what I did is I cut a, a one two three four uh, paths of this uh, plaster cloth to go in the uh, river here. And so I'm gonna start down at the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up because this river has three times that the water falls. And I wanna basically get this corner done because uh, I have my track pieces coming to lay down and finish this corner and I'm gonna start uh, plastering, plaster clothing this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, with what I've done here and then uh, We'll uh, work on a little bit more areas, but uh, let's just get started here. And then when the wife comes, she can help me and she can give her um, opinion in here. So basically, I'm just laying this cloth down and smoothing it out and just put it in the water for a little bit. And so I want to um, make sure I'm pretty much covering the area of, of the bed itself. And then I will be uh, um, laying the plaster cloth over the uh, sides of the bank too. So whatever you don't get on there, I think you can uh, um, add pieces to it. So basically what I do is I just use my wet finger and I just go over this plaster cloth until I don't see any more holes and bring that plaster to, to the surface. And then um, that's how I'm going to do it. And then when we do the sides, we'll drape it down over there a little bit. So here's the, the other half. So I'm using the, uh, the rough side up and then I'm going to overlay my uh, waterfall area and try to push that into the corners and then make my um, fabric come up on the edge. So that's basically how I'm going to do the river. So I'll finish this river and then I'll come back and uh, talk to you on camera a little bit. Also, you have to take the plaster cloth. No. Yeah, but I'm not done with the bottom surface first. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, here we are back again. I got a little bit more of this uh, river done and the wife, she's working on her irrigation ditch. So she's gonna kind of show you uh, what she's doing. All right, so I cut out my pieces, the uh, kind of length and the width that I wanted. And I just laid them down first just to see if I have the correct measurement and how I want to lay it out. And I want to make sure 
sure it's real flat in the ditch area. So now I'm ready to dip them in water. Start over here by the river. Just gonna get these. And I'm cutting some more cloth to uh, work up over this. We should probably should have got another roll of this stuff. We're not gonna get it done, but I guess we can make a trip to Hobby Lobby in the day if we want to. Save the gas. Just fine for me. Yeah, but yours is easier. Working on the riser, trying to get it covered up. Just think, babe. All our hard work, kind of like when we did our roof. All our hard work, and then we get a play. Yeah, with the trains, right? Yes. With our choo choo. The kitties can watch the train. <laughs> when we first had this board, when Michael was building it, our uh, tortoise shell cat jumped up here and it wasn't secure on the fireplace yet. So we were gone, but our tortoise shell cat jumped up here. And who knows what she was doing. But when we got home, this whole thing was on the floor and just we scattered didn't, everywhere. We didn't have the foam on it. It was just yeah, the, it, the it, first piece of the, the plywood to, yeah, it was just the board. to show and shape what we were going to do with it. But I think she got the scare of her life because the whole board was tipped over. And I bet she jumped the, up there. This stuff flew different directions. I bet she jumped up there and she won't even get close to this. I guess she learned her lesson. <laughs> I just wish I could have got it on video. She, I think, learned her lesson. Well, I'm gonna put one more. Uh... Actually, I think that's good right there. Yeah. Put one more down over this curve. We're gonna start working in onto our wood. I changed out the contour, friends, of the depth of the water here so uh, we wanted it to have a little bit more depth to it and before it was just like almost on the surface so now I uh, cut it down uh, uh, an inch and then put a quarter of an inch uh, board on it to give us the, the contour that we wanted that we were looking for so um, that'll, that'll seal the bank and then uh, I'll uh, start working on it. I want to get to uh, this riser up on the top before we uh, run out of fabric. Just because I want that to be setting up today. She says she don't like this uh, cloth, but I don't have a problem with it myself. It's the first time I've used fabric uh, cloth like this, uh, plaster cloth. I uh, normally, uh, in my layouts in the past, I would have uh, used, uh, um, you know, just plaster Paris and, uh, you know, dipped them in the, uh, the, the, the the newspaper or the paper towels. I would have dipped them in like that. Also, um, with plaster cloth, when you're using it, you got to make sure you smooth out and you'll see like little holes. I cover them up. And you got to just use your finger and just use that plaster that's on the others and just make sure no holes. I'm going to go over here and start uh, up this area here. Okay. 
keep letting your finger down with the water. Okay. Just being stubborn. On the holes for the resin to go through. The water resin. I am going to be so excited when we get to that point. <clears throat> then it starts looking real. Told you, but he uh, redid uh, all this in the river to make it uh, our level deeper. Or deeper this morning, <clears throat> it's a lot better. We'll cover that with the plaster cloth and think it'll be okay. When you're doing train sets or any kind of models, I mean, you're always up to change your mind on stuff. Always, I know we have some videos with the other layout but we're constantly changing our minds sometimes. Proving and changing I think life is kind of like that sometimes. Yes always. That is very true. Change is sometimes good sometimes it's not. Depends what you're doing. Like Virus, that's a big change. Nobody is uh, having fun with that. That's a scary thing. But we all gotta deal with it. Be safe. Um, just, our world is changing in front of our eyes. Just gotta trust in God and keep doing what we're doing. That's right. If you have a little problem trusting in God, check out my uh, YouTube channel, Pastor Michael Nicodemus. Uh, I also have a, a YouTube channel called uh, Heart to Heart Refinement School. In that uh, school, we uh, actually uh, um, do uh, videos each week about helping people to understand the path of knowing who God and Jesus are. By doing this train set together, it kind of keeps our mind off of what's actually happening in the world, you know? So it kind of gives us some peace, you know? Don't lean too much on that, yeah, I don't I, think I... I figured that. Don't you, don't you agree? Yep. It kind of takes our mind off stuff. Life. Hold on, I'm gonna move this a little bit. It comes on the hook sometimes. And to be safe, when you're leaning on it, you want to go ahead and do that with it. Yeah, I just felt it go up. I stopped. Ooh. Don't you agree? It keeps your mind busy. And yes, it does. And inspired. It's inspiring. <clears throat> start working this bank just don't get anything on that area or this area this area yeah and don't don't steal from me because I'm gonna use my cloth I, I already got mine okay. I would never steal <clears throat> and also babe you know what I've realized and haven't noticed mm -hmm. all the little programs that we watch just to get our minds refreshed and even learn stuff. I have not seen a husband or wife do this. It's true. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we need to see uh, more uh, husbands and wives doing things. And, you know, we see it on, uh, you know, like building houses and stuff and doing other things, but we don't really see them doing the hobby together. <clears throat> I think it's fun working with you. 
we've been together a year now. Wonderful year. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about being married for a year, friends. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I should have rephrased that. Yes, married for a year. I'm starting to uh, do the canyon wall now. It's actually uh, looking pretty cool. Uh, gotta be careful, there's little strings that are attached. You don't want to smooth down. Okay, there we go. Moving right on. I'm actually gonna be uh, doing a uh, sculpt a mold on this canyon wall but uh, using this to seal the base. Did you order sculpt mold? Or? I ordered sculpt mold, yeah. Okay. It should be here in a week or two. But uh, we won't put sculpture mold on, under the track, so. But we can't get it as fast as we got those tracks. That was awesome. Well, the tracks, the additional tracks that I ordered will be here uh, on Saturday because Pfeiffer Supply, he, he does a pretty good job on uh, getting that stuff out right away. Have you been noticing little strings? got to remember about doing a model train layout is you, you want to rush you know and get it done so you can see the end result but trust me my friends being patient has a better outcome than just rushing through the project I think my pinky fits in this little area This dries, this will be hard as a rock. Mm -hmm. Be a nice contour for us. No Before I move any further, make sure this is good and sealed. Cut one of these pieces in half to do some uh, fine areas of sculpting. One of them is right along this bank right here. Because I don't want the foam to show. I kind of want it to be sealed. And then we'll do uh, some vegetation and some ground cover and things like that along this area. So technically, I only got two pieces left. I'll put them up there. This piece here, I'm going to put over here. When we get more uh, of this stuff, this plaster cloth, I'll move the camera and let you guys see what I'm doing because I know you're probably not seeing it what I'm doing I wanted the wife to kind of be in the video for now because I've been doing a lot of videos by myself and I wanted you guys to see her in action so well the reason why I haven't been in is because you've been doing like all the molding and I really don't like that part <laughs> I like the Sculpting of the rivers and mountains and whatnot, and the water. So that's why. I guess you could say I like to do the funners. They're more fun stuff. <laughs> I guess funners out of work. Where is it? <clears throat> How does it look, babe? It's pretty good. Just pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty. Pretty good. I won't give you more until we get the rest of it done. Then it might be can darn we, good. Can we move the camera over here? Yeah, but I'm I'm out of stuff, so we want them to see what you're doing. That's fine. Let's see. I don't know if they can see. Cause I'm gonna move over here. Yeah, they can see. Over here. Yeah, I can see you. Okay. I just have a couple more to do. I'm just basically uh draping this uh, water up on the side of my wall here so it uh, stays put.
Hold on, babe, for a little bit. I'll change the angle of the camera. Slow down a little bit. Okay. Hold on, folks. We're going to do a change in the camera. There you go. She wanted you to see what she's doing. Also, I've noticed that you got to rub not too hard, but um, just right, because this plaster cloth will, will move on you. And then it's hard to get back into the flat. Because once it rolls up on itself, it's just kind of difficult to get back. You want to rub kind of hard, but not hard. Do you notice that, babe? What's that? If you rub the plaster cloth too hard, it just kind of folds up. It's hard to get back. And the place mm -hmm. kind of like saran wrap. Yeah. I'm basically trying to get rid of the holes, but I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to put sculpta mold on this. But I just want it to stay put. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm only going to do uh, up to this point underneath my track right here because uh, we're going to extend this track that way. So I'll be taking this out and putting a high riser coming up here and this whole curve will come out. But I am going to plaster the this canyon wall so I can get it done. We'll probably won't do this. This will this will come out right here as well. But uh, right now uh, we want to get to playing our trains with our uh, um, DC controllers and our DC uh, locomotives. But we want to go to DCC, which is uh, more expensive locomotives to to be cab controlled. So. We'll be doing that, but uh, and those ones they make sound. Yeah, yeah, they, they're they're pretty cool. So we'll be getting those uh, um, before we add on to this because uh, we'll want to be able to well, get it done. And, depending on finance. Well, yeah, but we're talking two or three years from now, people. We're not talking we tomorrow. To save. We'll have a jar with the train put. <laughs> huh. Yeah, we. Uh, don't have a lot of money, so we're doing this on a on a tight budget. So just shows people that you can do this. Like I said, our 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 trains, uh, our DC trains, our engines and our cars were uh, we loaned them from her brother-in-law. So my brother, your brother. Yeah, my brother-in-law, her brother. <laughs> look like a stream now. Mm -hmm. Sure does. What are you gonna do with this piece? Can I use it? Yeah. My last area over here on the river. Let's see and then this. also today, um, can I add some sand to this part? Not this part. But... Well, let's wait until it dries. Yeah. And then you can use. It won't the, take very long to dry. You can use your uh, what is that stuff over there? That. Uh, Elmer stuff. Uh, pop, Mod Podge. Uh, Mod Podge. Yeah, that'll that'll work too. I haven't worked with much much too much. I just uh, I got that given to me that brand new bottle. Well, she's gonna show you how she's gonna do that a little bit uh, later, <laughs> which I think is probably a pretty cool thing. Honestly, folks. Hey, babe, this is perfect. <laughs> yep. Honestly, folks, we uh, started on this uh, probably uh, 30 minutes ago, and this side is hard. Yeah, it drives too pretty fast. So uh, I'm liking how it looks. Overlaid them, right? Like I did. Oh yeah. Okay. And that resin is not going to go anywhere, but where we want it. I'll probably do a another little side here when I touch this up. And you really want to work your uh, seams that come out into your flat areas, because uh, if you keep rubbing water on them, those seams will almost disappear. And uh, we can build it up with some ground cover, but uh, I don't want to have a tight, uh, a really big jump in some of the areas. So that's why I'm doing it that way. And uh, when I get some more of this cloth, I'll finish the stream on the bottom and we'll uh, finish from uh, down here up across and finish all of this to this point. I'll probably come across the top of this so I can start doing the uh, sculpt the mold, but uh, 
Um, I wish we could afford to, to get the DCC stuff, but we just have to wait, my friends, just like everybody else. video and we'll call this uh, step one of uh, plaster cloth my friends. Looking good.